and talk about a celebration. Students and Wolfpack fans running to the Memorial Bell Tower even as the clock ticked down to the end of the game tonight. CBS 17, Sonica Bargo joins us live in Raleigh. And Sonica, as amazing a day as the team had, the real action was definitely with the Wolfpack faithful. Yeah, Maggie, Greg, there is nothing quite like the Wolfpack faithful. We started our day over at Sammy's Tap and Grill watching the game alongside fans. And of course, we ended it here at the Memorial Bell Tower for the celebration. There are still a few straggler Wolfpack fans hanging out here. The energy from this fan group tonight is really intense. It's just complete celebration. And they say they're behind their team all the way. It's like a dream, and I, I don't know if I woke up yet. Wolfpack fans calling NC State's latest win over Duke surreal, launching them into the final four of the NCAA tournament. Once they got rolling, it was no stopping. Some fans, like Wayne Jarvis, remember the last time the team got this far, in 1983. I've been waiting for 38 years to come back out here to celebrate. I've been here every night since 1983, and I've been waiting for a repeat, and it looks pretty promising. For old and new fans alike. Whoa! NC State's ninth straight win, this time against a rival Triangle team, is incredibly exciting. And it is just phenomenal to watch them week after week after week just, you know, succeed and move forward. Just to prove themselves and say, hey, we can do this. Don't underestimate us. These boys love their coach. They them. love their yeah. school. They've got it. We're going all the way. Duke came out ahead early in the game, but Blue Devils fans still felt tense. Less stressful than playing UNC, I will say. It's still a big game. I think we're playing solid, but definitely need to play a little bit better. Especially when a specific state player took control. Just watching D DJ Burns just dominate. Anytime that he had the ball, I was like, yes, we're, we're doing well. It's, he's, he's got this game. I think what's awesome is when DJ Burns gets that smile on his face. Everybody just knows we're done now. And Wolfpack fans are already gearing up for their next game against Purdue. This is the environment that we need to do this at, we need to watch it with everyone else. And of course, fans we spoke to say they hope to be back at the Bell Tower next weekend after their game against Purdue. They say there's really nothing quite like being out here celebrating with the rest of the entire Wolfpack Nation. Live in Raleigh, Sonica Bargo, CBS 17 News.